Are you excited for Halloween? Me. Hey, we're doing some wholesome memes this time. Nothing cursed or terrible, just plain smiles. If you're having a bad day, then let's go. The Ohio Highway Patrol shared their dogs, and I think I want them all. Got Ronnie, oh, <laughs> grin. Wolf and Bruno. Ronnie tried so hard for his picture, and I love it. <laughs> Your sadness. Me doing my best to make you smile one meme at a time. <laughs> the high school let this girl have her service dog next door in the yearbook. This is respect. Did they, did, did they get the service dog to sign yearbooks? That's, I have to know that. <laughs> Boyfriend. You don't have to do anything for my birthday. Girlfriend. Does something. Boyfriend. Dude, dude, she's a keeper. You gotta, you gotta tie her down, man. So, I got a notification from our security camera that someone was at the front door. <laughs> I love this post with the B. <laughs> Buzz him in. CNN. The Singapore police force has issued a warning to the residents not to misuse their boarding passes after a man was arrested for buying a ticket in order to walk his wife to the gate. Man arrested for buying airplane ticket just to wave his wife off at the gate. That that's that's really sweet, but that kind of sucks. That's also a really really is that what Singapore airports look like? When everyone's crediting Minecraft for a good childhood, Club Penguin. That's all right. What matters is that everyone's happy. Oh, dude, Club Penguin was like the uh, just I miss it. I really miss it. I miss being a, a secret agent and, and doing uh, rock, paper, scissors, taekwondo, and... <laughs> oh. oh, those were some good times. I want to get wasted. Wake up early. Anticipate a productive day. Stay hydrated. Take a multivitamin. Exercise. And don't stay up too late. When the teacher hands you your exam and says, good job, the man can run, and their options were rub, run, rug. The man pet the dog, and the options were fit and hit. You should not hit dogs. Not bad, kid. Oh, <laughs> it's a Komodo dragon. Did he commit a crime? Where's the warrant? No, it's his last day of kindergarten, and it's for his mom. I, I need to know why they're why they're getting his ink. If someone knows why they're like actually doing the ink print for the Komodo dragon, I need to know. What is your secret for always staying down to earth? Well, I mean, gravity. Hold on, I gotta look him up on Wikipedia real fast because I, I need to like know something here. He's 55. Holy shit! Another one. The dust. I haven't been able to get a full video, but we just celebrated one of our steam locomotives turning 145 by chucking a chocolate cake into our firebox. <laughs> Me and my dog waiting in line at the ice cream shop to get her a puppy cup because she's a good girl. <laughs> I love the little ears drawn on little Keanu. Uh, I, I don't know if all like... Wait, no, it's an actual, I think it's an actual menu thing, but like Starbucks does this thing called like the Puppuccino where they just get like a little cup of whipped cream and give it to dogs. <laughs> it's just the greatest thing ever. Come here. You're a good girl. My dog ate it. No. I forgot it. Mm -mm, nope. My duckling fell asleep with my calculator is the only acceptable excuse for why you couldn't get your homework done. Just look at that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mickey Mouse is cool and all, but can we talk about Goofy for a second? He was a single dad who raised his son, and when he lost his job, he went back to college so he could get a job to support his son. That mouse has nothing on this dog. Everyone doesn't care about janitors. Keanu Reeves. I have been working as a janitor for the past seven years, wiping the floor every day and breaking my back to feed my family until I met Keanu Reeves five days ago at the restaurant where I work in St. Louis, and now I'm the shop owner thanks to 
<laughs> oh my god. Dude. <laughs> Can you imagine just like, you know, struggling to clean up some mess a bunch of teenagers made and then John Wick walks into the store that <laughs> makes you the owner? <laughs> That's awesome. A hat to warm my head. Socks to warm my feet. Gloves to warm my hands. You to warm my heart. That's pretty cheesy, but okay. <laughs> Island. Isn't land. Get it? Two years ago, this intersection in my hometown of Charlottesville became known for hate. This morning, I drew the crosswalk into a symbol of unity. Is there a subreddit for like wholesome vandalism? My favorite thing to do after watching a movie is to let the credits roll and pick a name to search up on IG or Twitter. Then I'll message them saying how great of a job they did and how they helped make that movie happen. I appreciate y'all, XOXO. That, you probably are making some like random just like art students day by doing that. I was uh, having a rough day until I went to bed and my little man came in and comforted me until I fell asleep. It's a good cat. See, cats can care. They're not always little evil goblins. They actually have emotions sometimes. Hey, four eyes. I'm super jealous of your superior vision. Hey guys, look, I got a cool crown. Wow, dude, that's awesome. Can I try it on? Of course, my dear friend. You see, this post is actually a metaphor for communism. Do you have a magic spell to return someone to life? No. Oh. I'm sorry. Why don't you tell me about them? Will that bring them back? For us, for a little while. Stories are a different kind of magic. A short story I drew based on words by a small fiction on Twitter. I've, uh, I've got a rare pick of a Category 3 hurricane. Reminder that quakas are indigenous to an island where they have absolutely no natural predators. So, they neither run from nor attack humans due to the fact that they've never had a need for such survival tactics. In fact, they love taking selfies with tourists and they smile. Today I was working the cash register and I had an older man say, See you later, alligator. And I immediately responded with, In a while, crocodile. And he laughed so hard I think I made his day. Staying up all night thinking about that one embarrassing thing you did eight years ago. I wasn't supposed to snap there, was I? <laughs> Knowing you have grown as a person and have moved beyond that behavior. Oh, come on. I, I missed the snap. <laughs> it's, it's pretty late and I have class in a couple hours here, but I just, I just wanted to get something out for you guys. Miseram boy mistakenly runs over chicken with cycle, takes it to hospital with all money he had. Is... is it still alive in that picture, or I, I can't... I hope it is. After his best friend died, a 12-year-old Michigan boy raised 2500 to pay for the headstone. You're a good man. Thank you. That's super uplifting, but it's also super sad. Oh, it's one of these comics. Hello, your body is long. I sense you require assistance. Ah, how did you know? Because this occurs frequently. Apologies, this must be tiresome. I have accepted my role in society. Gratitude. Hello, long being. <laughs> I, I love these, these like wholesome alien memes. <laughs> They're one of my favorite things. Also, I totally feel where they're coming from because I'm six foot three, so... <laughs> oh... <laughs> Moms silently bring you fruit snacks when they see you've been studying for a long time will always be the purest form of love in the entire universe. Fuck. I work as an actor at a haunted house and this little girl who is dressed as a cat came through and she saw me and was like, No thank you, please don't get closer, I'm already scared, and I was like, all right, I appreciate the good manners, I'll back off. So her dad picks her up and starts going down the rest of my dark hall, and I just hear her yell, Everybody wait, I dropped my ears! 
So I find them and give them to her dad and she goes, thank you, but I hope I never see you again, goodbye. <laughs> and waved over her dad's shoulder. I went back and she gave me a thumbs up. Honestly, this kid has a lot of guts. Props for being so polite when she's terrified. I hope she gets a lot of candy this year. That's really adorable. You've seen those pictures of harvest mice falling asleep in tulips. Today I learned that conservationists recycle Wimbledon tennis balls as predator-proof shelters for them. <laughs> Me, about to bombard my friends and family with love and affection. Yes. This is Nugget. For 10 years, whenever he gets anxious, he sits in the bed and cries, pawing at blankets until I make him a fort for him to crawl into. And suddenly, everything is right in his little world. Really cute cat. <laughs> Me. Admiring how beautiful you are. It's kind of weird doing wholesome memes because I'm usually doing like, uh, <laughs> just really cursed content. And I. <laughs> I'm not used to being wholesome. I love wholesome memes, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm not built for it. Every night I hang out with this wholesome old fella while he streams on Twitch. Every night, it's just me keeping him going. Reddit, help me make his night tonight by surprising him with lots of viewers. I the man Dirk. Go, go, go check this dude out, all right? I mean, this video is a little bit late from when this was posted, but please, like, Make an old man happy, all right? Let's let's do something good. SpongeBob, the official SpongeBob. If you're ever feeling sad, just give me a call. I can absorb your tears. Don't worry about me. I'll just wring out your sadness later. Trans people, I'm trans. Society, okay. Please use my pronouns in my new name. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome, new name. Smiley face. Smiley face. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for making it this far into this excursion to wholesome memes. I know a lot of you are here for my cursed content and whatnot, but uh, I wanted to do something a little different and have some fun. Um, this was done in a very different format with the way the posts were collected, so I'm curious how it turns out. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, and as usual, I'll see you all next time.